Joining us now in a Closing Bell exclusive, Lending Club CEO, Scott Sambron. Scott, thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, so wanted to start, uh, if we could, on, on, uh, on the macro environment. We'll get to the company specifics and the micro in a moment. But, but really good numbers, obviously, the market like them. Um, how sustainable is that on, on the macro side of things? Yeah, we feel uh, really good. If you look at the conditions we're in right now, there's almost n not a better time you can imagine to start a digital bank. Consumer health is very, very good. Consumer balance sheets are strong. And uh, from the lending side of things, you know, capital deposits are available and they're available at a low cost. Uh, and, and are you concerned that rates going up could change that or, or quite relaxed about it? Yeah, in our case, no. Our number one, uh, you know, uh, market entry point is we help consumers save money off of their existing cost of debt, most notably credit cards. Those are floating rates. So as rates go up, those will go up. We'll be able to uh, continue to save them money. And then the second thing is our loans are relatively short duration. So we're able to reprice in the market as rates go up. Sort of related question. So what are you seeing in, in as far as the loan quality down the road? delinquency rates and stuff like that? Yeah, great question. Again, you know, I'd say the, the current starting place is really strong. As, as uh, you may know, credit has held up incredibly well during, during the pandemic. You know, our expectation is for things to normalize and go back to the way they were uh, over time. And that's, that's how we're pricing loans. That's how we're underwriting a lot of uh, analyst upgrades, Scott, off the back of these numbers, and, and clearly now you're guiding to and analysts are expecting uh, decent bottom line profitability and improvement going forward. Uh, how, if the top line keeps growing, how quickly does that all drop through now to the bottom line, given given your business model? Yeah, so you know what we've been able to do is really transform the core model. We took our, our online lending marketplace. That's what we're known for. That's what drives down the cost of credit to consumers. And we've added a digital bank. And that is both reducing our expenses, it's increasing our revenue, and it's also giving us the opportunity to do more for our customers. So the effect has been uh, pretty immediate. We're, you know, lit last quarter was our, only our second quarter as a digital bank. And you can, you can see the results versus our prior model. We're driving about 30% more revenue on the same level of loan volume and about you know twenty seven million dollars more in profit, and and we're just getting started. So, do you think of yourselves as a bank or as a fintech or what? Because I think that's the other thing that the market's sort of grappling with in terms of valuation. Yeah, look, I think at this point, uh, almost every company should view themselves as a tech company, and we started as a tech company. We are digitally native, so what what we're able to deliver is the growth rate of a technology company, but the profit and the resiliency of a bank. So we view ourselves as a fintech that it happens to be a digital bank. In, in that sense, uh, what do you make of the massive growth in fintech uh, over the last couple of, couple of years? And, and again, I guess, who do you see your biggest rivals uh, as? Are you, are you more likely to take market share by being a sort of uh, front runner in the fintech space or, or still from the traditional players? Yeah, I mean, I think what you're seeing broadly is technology's disrupted all of these other industries, right? Travel and e-com or retail, and it's it's arriving now to retail banking. Um, and there's a you know there's a moat in that you know the significant regulatory framework that you need to be able to understand and operate within. So I think that's why you know the market is now waking up. These are very large profit pools that uh, technology companies are, are going after. You know, we're really going after the incumbents. Our customers are banked. Uh, they are high credit quality, relatively high income, um, but they're just not being served very well. So we're going after that and saying, look, here is a digital bank that's acting in your interest. It is proactively finding ways to save you money. You know, we've been saving you money off your lending, and now we're going to help with spending and savings. Scott, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us.